Hello, Flo. The guide, period. The funny, crossed out. Real, crossed out. Awkward, crossed out. Smart, honest, crossed out. Everything puberty book for the modern girl. By Nama Bloom. Okay. Hi, I'm Jen Elledge. I'm a sexual health expert and I'm the founder of the Talk Institute. Here to help you talk to your children about sex and growing up. Here with another book review, and this book review is a puberty book for girls. It's kind of like a no-nonsense guide, very blunt and not your mama's puberty book um, type of tone throughout this book. And, and um, I would recommend it for someone maybe 10 and up and for the right child that's maybe a little sassy, I could see you know, Aunt Flo, right? Or an aunt giving this to um, their niece or something like that. Uh, let me let me walk you through the book a little bit. The tone is different than most puberty books I have read. It's a little more um, in your face, I would say, for lack of a better word. So let's take a look of what is here. For the awkward girls trying to figure things out, it gets better, I promise. Okay, so here are the table of contents. All right, so you got the intro. Girl, you'll be a woman soon. Chapter two, busting out or not. Um, chapter three, beating around the bush or the hair down there. Chapter four, and even more hair. Chapter five, shark week. So that's the period section. Chapter six, managing the mess. Chapter seven, mind the gap. Chapter eight, all the feels. And then nine, sisterhood of the traveling periods. So it's got a little bit of a different tone to it, okay? This is the intro. There is no such thing as clean underwear, at least for a girl. You may start your day with a nice fresh pair of underwear, but by your first trip to the bath bathroom, yep, there's always something crusty waiting for you. Sometimes less crusty than cottage cheesy, sometimes less cottage cheesy than yogurty. It can often feel a bit like your body is taking it upon itself to produce its own personal dairy section. If you know what it's for, it can be magical. Some might even say, Magical. <laughs> if you don't, it's shameful, confounding, embarrassing, but it's there, always. Being a girl is messy business, a fact widely known through rarely discussed, though rarely discussed, by half the world's population. At nearly every stage of a girl's development, something is spurting or sprouting or budding or blossoming. Garden metaphors abound. Based solely on evidence provided by decades of feminine hygiene advertisements, you be forgiven for concluding that getting your period is basically a monthly frolic through a field of sweet smelling flowers. And it goes on, okay? Um, so this is kind of the intro for the girls, kind of setting the tone of the book and like the stuff that's gonna happen, it's life, it's a little messy, but it's gonna be okay, all right? Um, adults, the girl sitting next to you is smart. She needs to know what's about to happen. Good thing you bought this book because I can guarantee the information she needs isn't at the bottom of a Yahoo Answers rabbit hole. It's a bit like reading, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, had it been written on the bathroom wall of Penn Station with a Sharpie. Think that's an exaggeration? Please pause here for a moment and go Google pubic hair. See? Thanks to the prevalence of unrestricted pornography on the internet, it's nearly impossible to Google anything about female anatomy without being immediately confronted by pornographic images. In fact, some studies suggest that children are encountering porn at as young as age eight. Not your children, of course, never your children, but the children they know and talk to and play with. That's because online porn is the contemporary equivalent of your friend's older brother's contraband issue of Playboy that somehow made its way to a sixth grade sleepover. It goes on a little bit. Okay, girls, back to you. So again, you can see the tones very different, maybe for an older girl, okay? Girl, you'll be a woman soon. Um, all right, so it's gonna talk about breasts. Here's the picture for that. Uh, what happens when, this is kind of a neat chart. So these are the, the range of ages that breast bud or pubic hair grows, growth spurt, first period, hair, um, breasts, okay. So you talk about smells of puberty, so the hormones and your feet. Okay, but how will it feel? Can you tell me? Uh, it talks about early period periods, um, busting out or not. So this is where it talks about breast development. Here's some more of the images. Oh, that's a neat one. Mammary glands, milk ducts. 
why do we have breasts? Uh, okay, and here's the stages. So nothing to see here. Would be stage one. Hey, buddy. So you're budding in stage two. Um, come on, get fatty. Stage three. Attention. Stage four. Final destination. <laughs> stage five. So it's got a little humor throughout. Talks about nipples. Um, bras. Hmm. This is interesting. This is like bras fashions throughout history. <laughs> That's fun. Okay. Uh, Dr. Shell Ross, gynecologist. And so here's some doctor Q&A. Are there any tips for taking care of your breasts long term? Is there such a thing as a normal nipple? Do young women need to give themselves breast exams? Uh, is it true if you don't wear a bra, you'll get saggy boobs? Stuff like that. Okay. It does talk about how to give yourself a breast exam. And actually, what I liked about this is this next part here. It talks about, um, these are actually like stories of people writing in about their breasts. And the stories, like one person was talking about that their breasts showed up really early and how they felt about that. They couldn't do cartwheels. And, um, and, and then there's one that wanted breasts that didn't have them yet and got them late and how she felt. So it talks about the feelings around your body changes, which I thought was great. Um, the next section is being around the bush or the hair down there. Um, so pubic hair is a part of puberty. Uh, talks about the glands, apocrine glands and eccrine glands for sweating. Oh, and then how, okay, this is interesting. So it says, who put the L in pubic? So pubic or public, right? It says, um, years ago before Instagram, my friend's eight-year-old son once asked her, asked her, mom, if it's on your private parts, why is it called pub public hair? <laughs> At the time she told me this, we just laughed about how cute his comment was, but now I think he was on to something. Over the past few years, because of our nonstop access to nude, or practically nude images of just about everyone on the internet. It seems that what to do with your pubic hair has become a public conversation. So it keeps going on. I think it's about like to shave or not. Um, but it's interesting that it brings in, you know, some of the social aspects of that and, and how we're influenced by media and stuff. So I thought that was interesting. Um, tools of the trade, so shaving, waxing, um, laser hair removal, creams, and even more hair. <laughs> so facial hair, armpit hair, leg hair. Okay. Uh, modern shaving, tweezing, threading. There's a lot on hair removal. Um, okay. Chapter five, shark week. And it says, does swimming with your period really attract sharks? It's a question I hear a lot, and the answer is no. Okay, and then it talks about the female reproductive system. But will it hurt? Then it talks about cramps. So this is the part where it's gonna talk about your period. Um, common questions, managing the mess, you know, buying products at the store, tools of the trade, tampons, pads, right? So this is where it gets into more of the nitty gritty stuff. Um, meet your brain. What's going on in your brain? What about PMS? And then all your feelings. Okay, it talks about all the different feelings that you'll, sorry, all the feelings that you may have. So and that's pretty much it. And again, my favorite part are the, um, the write-ins from, from kids that talk about like their feelings about their body changes. I thought that was really cool. Again, it's an honest, funny, unafraid book that might work for you and your family. Again, this is um, Hello Flow, The Guide Period. If you enjoyed it and think that your, your um, daughter may enjoy it, go ahead and pick it up at your local library or bookstore or Amazon. All right. Janelle here. Thank you for listening in. I'll see you in our next book review. Bye-bye.